having even the uh, uh, largest world population, which is mostly the 13 percent, but it in those uh, a very it generates a very low uh, less than four percent of the electricity where it covers the uh, whole uh, population in Africa. So why this is happening? Because uh, one is there are certain uh, factors that really impairs. Uh, because uh, first of all, uh, you know, we, the investment and also the right policy uh, and also the clear and coherent uh, institutional and regulatory uh, framework. Analysts believe Nigeria with over 150 million people needs more than 6 trillion naira, the equivalent of its annual budget, to plug its infrastructure deficit. The federal government has a plan to raise 20 billion naira by March to help fund renewable energy projects through its green bond issuance. The, the real idea behind it is put a focus on what it means to be green. And that's anything that has to do with reducing emissions. Um, and then look to see what kind of investments that means within the budget. Um, and have a process that will allow you to certify what is a green project and show how we can collaborate with other ministries, other sectors, to produce a pipeline of projects. In the first instance, let's do it on our turf, so that whatever learning we do, we do it in Nigerian time on Nigerian soil. Um, thereafter, you will bring integrity, you will um, offer opportunities to get into the 200 odd uh, billion um, dollars that's in the um, bond market for, for green products. Uh, so that's what we're trying to do now. And, um, it's put discipline, um, it's also uh, produced projects that we think business will be interested in, and that it has created the beginning of a pipeline of projects that could come into this country. What do we mean by that? Well, with transportation, uh, instead of using diesel, you use electric, uh, solar power off-grid um, in places that are far to reach, or perhaps in tertiary institutions where we've got huge populations, um, afforestation programs, because we have seen the depletion of forests and therefore desertification is a big thing. So you bring jobs to people, but you also tackle climate change. The Ministry of Environment is targeting off-grid solar power projects that will produce as much as 1,200 megawatts in the north. Nigeria's electricity generation capacity is about 3,000 megawatts. Proceeds from the green bonds will also support environment-friendly projects and the oil-producing Niger Delta where the government aims to eliminate gas flaring by 2019. I think what's exciting about this is that it doesn't have to be the Ministry of Environment with the money. You can have green projects that come out of uh, power, that come out of petroleum, that come out of um, agriculture, that come out of transportation, uh, or even states. I mean, we hope that we will see states getting involved uh, with, the, with this instrument later on. The bond would open up the space for international bonds to enter Nigeria for greening the economy, which the government believes will attract foreign investors into the country. Nigeria has a huge opportunity uh, to move away from a fossil fuel-based economy where much of the eggs in the basket have gone and to start to diversify uh, the asset base. So uh, what is the investment potential of Nigeria outside of oil and beginning to make those steps uh, towards that. It should be important to note that this is not just an environmental agenda. This is a uh, country agenda. It's a development agenda uh, to transform the economy. And in time, uh, that is exactly the road ahead to, in, in what we're trying to get to. Green bonds can provide low carbon and robust climate infrastructure needed in Nigeria, like renewable energy, low carbon transport, water infrastructure, and sustainable agriculture with access to private capital. Resources needed to finance Nigeria's nationally determined contributions is put at $142 billion between now and 2030. The last few months has been an education component across the ministries on the potential of green bond financing, uh, not just domestically, but also in the long run uh, internationally. So, you know, being able to leverage new capital flows to be able to start addressing their infrastructure needs that they have on their uh, infrastructure planning, right? So for power, you're looking at uh, a rollout of solar uh, across the country. And to be able to do that is a significant amount of ups upfront capital costs and Green Bond Finance is a way to attract that financing. So it's been a, I'd say, 
uh, open and welcomed response, uh, but also challenging in that asking ministries on what they need to provide uh, for us to be able to construct the portfolios uh, is, is, is a challenge going forward, but one that we can, we can address. The issuance of green bonds, which have grown from $3 billion per annum since 2012 to an estimated $100 billion for 2016, present a viable option. Last year was another record year for labeled green bond market, with over $42 billion issued. A green bond is a tax-exempt bond issued by federally qualified organizations for the development of areas of land that are underutilized have abandoned buildings or are underdeveloped, often containing low levels of industrial pollution. According to the United Nations Environment Program, green bonds have the potential to deliver the low carbon climate resilient infrastructure needed in Nigeria. That is renewable energy, low carbon transport, water infrastructure, sustainable agriculture and more. With access to private capital at scale through the international and domestic bond markets, access to private capital is essential to substantially lower the cost of capital for green projects and enable Nigeria to move to a less emissions-intensive growth path. Nigeria, like most countries around the world, faces vast investment needs for the transition to a sustainable, low-carbon and climate-resilient economy. The government that has made it clear that private sources of finance are needed. Tapping into the international capital markets, as well as domestic capital, is crucial. Last year was a big year for green bonds. Apple issued the largest green bond by a United States technology company. Poland issued the world's first sovereign green bond, and total green bond issuances grew to a record high. According to a recent report by Moody's Investor Service, the rise of green bonds issuances in 2016 is projected to carry over into 2017 as well. The report projects that green bond issuances will increase to over $200 billion in 2017 from $93.4 billion in 2016 if green bonds grew at their 2016 rate. But the report also shows that green bonds make up just a fraction of the global debt capital market issuances at 1.4% and large United States corporations are lagging behind other green bond issuers. One of the authors of the Moody's report, however, said, in the end, if our society is going to succeed in transitioning to a low-carbon economy, the world is going to need even more than $200 billion in green bonds.